Hey fellow traders, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Lethal Curveballs, episode 26, Can't Pass Up a Deal. So it seems the infestations did manage to get out towards, you know what I want to do? Oh, you know, I have a follower. They're not going to allow me to do it. I was going to grab that zombie and throw him into the bloater, but with a follower in tow, my follower is just going to shoot the zombie and waste my time. I went the wrong way. Good job, me. Getting lost in my own backyard. Gotta take advantage of that huge build bonus once we move. I don't necessarily disagree. I'm just letting you guys vote on how you feel. Cheers. There's actually an advantage to taking the scenic route because the infestations aren't shown on the map unless you do the radio call for someone to scout them or you scout them yourself. So for me to drive the southern approach route into the base actually has me do some scouting. Um, not to say that I should have driven this way. I definitely probably shouldn't have, but you know, whatever. It was safer because it's not passing by the infestation that just took root in this town. I guess. So there's that argument. All right, Kerr. Good job driving. And this is why my vehicles blow up. Uh, I'm going to stay on Marcus and try to get him hero because I like his, um, his hero bonus. And then I'll start working on the others. Yep. Take care, kid. So he came with a handgun, a high capacity handgun, hand grenades, and a belt club. A really heavy belt club. The belt club annoys me because it weighs 10 pounds, good, but it's not a heavy weapon. All other like heavy weapons weigh 10 pounds. So it's just like a really heavy weapon that doesn't have the bonus of um, being able to kill hearts. So it's all the weight of a heavy weapon with none of the hitting power. Why bother with it? I don't get it. Uh, all right, Mr. New Guy, you're gonna get, oops, that's not what I meant to click. You're gonna get the Ursus shoddy gun and some pills and drugs. Hey. Well, I'm actually doing all right here. Real so I like our community. Um. He doesn't have a, a, a extra skill, so we're gonna have to probably decide that at some point. Um, I'd lean towards quirk skills, but I'll, I'll likely uh, leave it up to you guys. So taking a look at my influence, I only need about uh, 250. We don't really need a cooking textbook, so I can definitely sell that. I don't need frag grenades. I don't need road flares. Um. Shit is Normally, I would break down weapons, but because I just want to move, I'm going to sell weapons instead so that we can move sooner. Uh, yeah, I do know that there was the wandering trader. So, oh, man. we'll That's go trade with them. The thing is, like, uh, I don't want to spend too much influence because I don't have spare influence to spend. And I do, yeah, you're right, I do have a lot of chemicals. I could sell those. I usually hold on to them just so that I can make uh, make fuel from scratch if I need to, or alternatively, make C4, because C4 is great. But you're not wrong. I could also just, like, make stuff, right? You know? Like, if I really wanted to, we have... Well, actually, we don't have a lot of medicine. But I could do a radio call-in for medicine and then make bulk cure and sell that, too. Right. I got rid of the pole. So after we, um, oh, you know what? This is already squealing. I might as well repair it. So after we move, I will be focused on building up the new base as decided by you all, or most of you. Oh, come on. I didn't grab it. Wait, 
Oh, it went from my backpack. Oh, that's annoying. When I tried to load in another repair kit into the car, it took the one out of my backpack and put it in the car. Well, there is no shortage of, like, big, scary zombies around, too. So that would be a, a not-too-ineffective way to, uh, to get our influence up, just killing a few juggernauts and whatnot. If you're surprised I'm not doing uh, bounties, it's because I am not allowing myself to. It's in the details, if you want to read them. No bounties, no freebie radio calls, no legacy boons, no legacy survivors, no red talon radios, nothing I don't earn. Because the game's too easy if I use all that stuff. Oh, there's a toxic one. I was, I was, I was hoping you guys weren't extinct, because I was a little worried that the game was bugged otherwise. Well, that would help if I actually shot you. What day are we on? Right, that is a really good question, I'm not sure. I don't think it tells you... Does it tell you up here? I think... Oh no, day 11 maybe? Day 12? I think we're on day 12. That was the most recent curveball, was the um, bullet benefactor, which happened today. So we're on day 12. Yeah, outside of the curveballs menu, other than when the time lapses over at midnight and you get that, like, flipping clock at the top left, I don't know if there's a... Oh, I just took an energy drink. I don't know if there's a way to actually check the time. Do you guys know? The day counter is broken right now, too? Yeah, so I've heard. How's it going? Echo Lab Envoy. So you have the biochem well. station. Oh, you're also going to have a repeating crossbow. Oh, man. Um, I lost mine? That is really, really tempting. So we already have an advanced biochem station. I don't need it. Um, if we are to buy the crossbow, I am only 14 influence away from moving, but I could buy the crossbow and sell some other stuff. Should I buy the crossbow? I'll leave this up to you. The other thing I could do is this whole house is, um, searchable. So I'll start grabbing the stuff around the house and, um, and sell it for influence. So what happened with the crossbow is I lost my leader who had it on her, and then she didn't have a corpse. It just, like, dis she just didn't have a corpse. So I was never able to loot her body, and we subsequently lost it. Treat myself. Oh, food. People are so hungry. Day 17. So wait. The curveball says 12, but the timer at the top just said it's 17. Mmm, nice. What is this, like... Inception? The message happened on day 12? Yeah, but the message happened today on day 12. This bullet benefactor is brand new at the start of this stream. So this bullet benefactor happened today, which also happens to be day 12, which also happens to be day 17. Oh, and we're getting gargantua. Spicy gargantua mutation. All right, you guys want me to buy it? I will buy it. Did she just make a weird noise at me? Unfortunately, none of the... um. None of the things that really scrounged here, like, make sense to sell to her. So, current priority is... Earn influence to move. One of the simplest ways to earn influence is just to do the side quests. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, um... Uh, what quest... Whoops. What quest to do? 
Thomas's drug quest or uh, mystery, mystery broadcast? So I will read the Gargantua. Oh, speaking of Gargantua, there's a Juggernaut right there. I'll read the Gargantua once we get home. But yes, essentially Juggernauts are just like stronger. Would be the TLDR. I'm driving the wrong way. Oh my god. I'm a real Marco Polo, aren't I? I'm turning Marco Polo into an insult like Looney Tunes turned Nimrod into an insult. Don't worry, I know Marco Polo was a particularly good navigator. Much that, much the way that Nimrod was a particularly good hunter. Juggernauts have contained Gargantua Mutation. They are tougher, stronger, and overall more dangerous. So they have better eyesight, better sense of smell, they stink, and they drain stamina. No, you stink. Stink is a matter of opinion, friend. I think they smell delicious. As roadkill. There's a lot of lot of angry angries. Really close to our base. Hey Pharaoh, are you stuck in a rock? I bet you're stuck. Yeah, you're stuck. So the mystery broadcast uh, happened to call in from like deep within Plague Heart territory. Uh, so it's gonna be a very spicy thing for me to do, but that's what I will do. And I'm gonna use this, oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm gonna use this survivor who needs to level up more. So hope he does well, you taking know, him out. You could keep getting by without running water, but it sure make life easier. I'm gonna be cheap and like not make a new batch of fuel bombs. Which I'll take scent block just like in case things go way sideways. Oh, you know what? The mysterious broadcast is gone. I don't know what happened to it, but it's gone. So, never mind. That poll was moot. That was not offered very long. Normally, those are offered a, a bit longer than like 20 minutes or whatever that was. All right, Thomas. Time to do your, your quest. Travel to the home of T-Dog, Thomas's old supplier, and recover pharmaceuticals for your community. I might have a solution for this. Hey, listen. We need medicine, but I don't know how I feel about another stash from... God, Ivan. Every time someone has a complaint, it's Ivan going, Wah. Well, Ivan. No one cares how you feel. I know where you used to live. Might be a lot of supply there. Every time it's that that one dude. All right, so where is T Dog? Oh, why, why, why game? Why, why, why? Freaking hell! <laughs> All right, fine. At least there won't be any hearts to wait. You know, while I'm down there, I might just like blow up a heart, just just out of like anger. Yeah, give me the double bit axe. Um. I'm going to stick this double bit axe in the trunk. Here, I'll stick the scent block, the C4, and the double bit axe in the trunk. Freaking unbelievable. That's like, alright, go to Tiva Dog's house. Where does he live? Oh, next to three active hearts? Yup. That's very reasonable. Alright, we'll take the southern approach. Uh, so if I move, everything everything moves with you. 
Everything moves with you, except for, like, your buildings. Because, you know, you can't pack a building up. But your, your, the structures that you've built, um, get essentially, like, refunded. And then you have a, a finite amount of time to use that abundance of building materials. So, like, let's say you invest a hundred building materials into your base. Once you move, you get a hundred building materials moved into your new base. And you get, like, a 48-hour, I think it's 48-hour, grace period before you start losing building materials. Because once you're over your storage maximum, things get spoiled or, or wasted or destroyed. Um... But you get a grace period up upon moving, so that you don't immediately start hemorrhaging building materials, which is nice. And then you can build quicker. Yeah, no, no miniify everything, or anything, unfortunately. You do keep your mods, though. I'm really... It's not one of those things where you have to actually think about moving all that much. Like, I don't need to, like, uninstall my building mods and, like... You know, all of it is kind of done for you, where they pack up and move everything, which is super sweet. Because if you had to, like, uninstall mods and make sure that, like, your I's were dotted and your T's are crossed, it would be really cumbersome. Oh, I need to not be driving this way. I don't know what it is about today, but my navigation skills have been very bad. You've been removing mods just in case? You know, it never hurts to be cautious, but I don't think it's necessary. I've never seen... I've never had... I've never lost mods that way. Because, you know, your base's storage is not finite. It's infinite. You can store as much stuff as you want in your home base, so it's not like things can go missing. And I've never seen a bug about stuff going missing in that way. Corpses might disappear, but like, your actual base supplies does not. I wonder if we'll actually see... So Gargantua's active, right? Yes. I wonder if we'll actually see Gargantua's. And I'm going to make a quick pit stop. Our, um, we're kind of like very quickly running out of food, so... I'm passing by a restaurant. That's large. Might as well uh, grab some, grab a bag of food. Hmm. Find the window. <laughs> For those that don't understand, shoulder smashing a door is really loud. Jumping through a window is not. Yeah, oddly enough, tip tiptoeing through a window is much quieter. And if you, because every time I, I cancel a shoulder slam maneuver, I get asked, just stealth, crouch. That's how to cancel it. That's that. Next place? Okay, no food. Also, I didn't try that door, but eh, whatever. I got in, didn't alert anyone. Shooting through a window with a crossbow bolt is completely silent? Yes, that is true. If you're willing to part with the bolt. Contrail finds some food. So there is another, there's a teriyaki restaurant, like... Oh, dang. My outpost became infested. But I don't think it's infested. I think it's bugged. It's showing up as infested, but, like, it's still functioning as an outpost, so, yeah, I think it's bugged. The real question is, do we have the bedding? And we do. 
we have the extra bedding, so it, it isn't technically infested. Um, so while we're here, I'm going to do the teriyaki as well. Just because our community is, like, redlining for food, so it makes sense. Yeah, I've, I've had this bug happen before where it will show up as infested, but it isn't. There's, like, truly no good reason for that building to be infested anyway. We live up here. All the active hearts are here. Active hearts like to infest things towards home. So I'm way off of the, like, path towards home. So it, it doesn't even... It's locked doesn't even make sense. I guess I can take a quick breather. Terrible vodka. In a teriyaki house? I think it's called sake, but okay. And tampons in the... Okay. <laughs> this teriyaki house has weird stuff. Yeah, that's what we needed. Maybe that's why the uh, vodka is terrible, because it's Asian vodka? Could be. I will say, I've had Chinese whiskey, and oh god, did not care for it at all. Japanese whiskey is actually okay, but Chinese whiskey? Mm. Mm. It, it smells like, like gasoline. I mean, it was really bad. I like couldn't stomach it. Looks like another food place across the street. A uh, hardware store. Pump station, gas station. This one's already empty. You can tell because it, it's not lit. It's grayed out. So I, th I think we're at our extent. Seems I got PTSD from Chinese liquor. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Is this the seconds? Yeah, I've already looted like three fourths of that, but all right. I keep, I keep getting sidetracked. Oh, there careful. would be, um, there would be food in here possibly though, so I'll stop here. And I am resourceful. If I can actually hit heads. So this is the character that. Whoa, there's a lot of you that uh, gets crossbow bolts back at high rate. I kind of got used to not having an, a repeater. And now my like aim is off. As is pretty evident. Hey, Perry. Thank you for the resub, man. All right. Am I only going to get plant seeds? Looks Which is weird, now. because if you go to as a fruit stand, you don't expect to get, like, this packets of seeds. I mean, there's safe. generally, like, one... Yeah, okay, box of seeds. Generally, at fruit stands, there might be, like, like, the packet of vegetable seeds that you can buy, but generally, there's fruit. Maybe we can trade this but I just keep way. getting stupid seeds. There we go. Circuitry? Oh, so they're doing the whole firefly uh, grenade in an apple. <laughs> Circuitry plus fruit. Okay. Circuitry weighs three pounds, this weighs four and a half. I'll take the plague cure. Hmm. 
Zombies don't give a shit about your improv skills. Note to self, do not pretend to be a zombie. It does not work. So the influence is at 2801. We need 700 or 699 to move. I think with the meds I'm looting from this, if we get meds, uh, I can make bulk cure and basically get all the way there to the goalpost. Oh, uh, okay, no, it's the house next door. Is infested. Oh, you can have that one. Ferals get one freebie door as long as it's not driver's side. Wait. Oh, I lost my driver's side on the fence. That's offensive. Oh, and all those bloaters are coming my way? Awesome. This is why I did not want to go to an active heart infested area. Because it sucks. Don't roar. Don't roar. I wonder if I can get the bloaters from here. Stop getting in the way. Oh, come on. That looked dead on. It'll be a little bit easier driving around. Oh, there's a screamer, though. Uh, that's kind of a hard shot for a screamer, but I'll try. Wish it well. Okay, there. It's wandering around. Stop moving so much. Help. Nope, missed. Total miss. Okay, let's just stop. I'm embarrassing myself. Honestly, where I parked is not a terrible spot to park if I can keep it quiet heading in because I clear the infestation so there at least won't be like a swarm waiting for me. So if you use the crossbow bow wise, I'll just work my way through the crowd, cutting them quietly so as to not attract too much attention. And that swarm is moving on. There'll probably be more infestations, probably. I mean, this is a five active heart town. So, I expect it to be kind of nasty. doing oh right i'm not uh, marcus anymore i'm thomas i think i hear a bloater a little worried about a bloater bomb waiting in the uh waiting indoors or something so 
So it's not this house. This was the infestation house. It's the next one. My only concern is, like, I'm relatively far from the car, so if there are ferals that come up, I have a, a wee bit of a panic run over to the vehicle. But I feel like if I drove up, I would just attract more attention. It would be a vicious cycle of, like, attracting attention, having to clear attention, which attracts more attention. It's best to keep it quiet. Okay, I'm here. At least I haven't wished me luck. Uh, container searched. Five out of six, so it's gonna be really easy for me to find at least. I'm guaranteed whatever there is, is what I'm looking for. Except for the building sounds- oh, I'm stuck. The building sounds, uh... The building's infested. I got lucky he didn't choose to scream, but puke. Because I whiffed a lot of shots. Whoa! Let's close this door. Don't roar. No roaring. Oh, I thought... Wait. What? I shot... Uh, whatever. I, like, shot through it as if there was no pains in it. Jumped through it. And all of a sudden, it's solid? All right, getting a little busy in here. My aim is a little potato. But my dodge skills are on point. For now. No one touched me. What about the repeater? This would have been uh, slightly different had I not had it. As I absolutely just tore through this house. And didn't use too many bolts to do it. Search for a clue to the location of T-Dog's hidden pharmaceutical supply. There we go. And this should take me out to a campsite where T-Dog stored his stash. Anything to loot around here? Shed, house, yeah, I don't really care. Just looking if there was like high value stuff for me to grab, but I won't really have space anyway. Oops. Why does it sound like there's a screamer in this car. Oh, I, I understand now. It's a blotter. Landmine. I had you on the edge of your seat, perfect. Oh, what? What, the swarm just like happened to my car was warm. Why is there so many zombies around my car that are parked in the middle of an open field next to no points of interest? Game. Dos, you cheat a bit. Oh, and there's a juggernaut over there. So stay quiet or be very dead. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. And they're wandering towards me, so this is like a time, time trial -y thing. Got it.
Just keep killing, just keep killing. Alright, where are we going for T-Dog? Oh, back home. Oh, okay. Alright, game. Down my toes while I'm in plague territory. At least it's not, like, deeper in infested territory. But, like, you could have saved me the drive and all the killing and... Everything else. Oh, great, and I just pissed off another heart almost fully. How is there another? Never mind. It's it's awake. <laughs> oh boy. I was gonna say, how is there another heart around here? But no, there is. And yep, I woke it. I feel like uh, the newbies, uh, Marcus and Kerr, and who was the other one I recruited? Shouldn't I know these things? But I feel like they're gonna have their work cut out for them. I feel like their uh, their entrance exam into our community is gonna be all right. Go kill all the hearts, all of them. Don't come back until you're done. Tontrail, thank you. Yeah, Tontrail. <laughs> you thought I mentioned you, Marticus? Yes. No, Marcus. Although if I could rename my survivors without mods, I would. There is a. Uh, uh, for those that don't know, there's a, um, there are mods for this game. I don't play with mods, but there are mods for this game, and one of the mods allows you to manage your community from like a management screen, allowing you to like modify them and rename them and everything. But it's it's not. It's a save game editor, so it, you can't do it live, as far as I remember. But it would be funny to have survivors named after you all, so that it could get you eaten and killed. I'm kidding. Curveballs is enabled automatically. Um, you don't get curveballs before day five, but they're random. So after day five, they just happen. If you're not getting any curveballs on day seven, that might not mean anything, though. It just could be chance. Oh, dog treats. Uh, shoo. Can't drive that way. One sec. I don't trust myself driving around. Distracted with all the uh, floaters where they are. All right, I need a gasoline break, so here's as good place as any. And I didn't, for the record, bother to kill a heart while I was down there. Obviously, you didn't see me destroy one. So, what did I wake up? I don't even think I know of the heart I woke up just now. When the two screamers screamed. That feral's still stuck in the rock. <laughs> Once we move, um... I will have the option to build auto mechanics, which improves the fuel economy of the cars, and also their endurance, and lowers their noise. So the, the things that are not relevant to what I'm doing right now, I'm putting away. So that I have more storage space for loot. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Lethal Curveballs, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 7th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, or a link can be found in the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.